Man, DJ Academics been going through H-E double hockey sticks with this girl he's been with. And we finna get into it. I'm gonna fast forward some parts to the juicy stuff. Let's go. Shorty gonna send pictures or really like weird things of me to niggas like Adam22 and Troy Ave. She's like, oh, I'm gonna show these niggas that really I'm your b and I got pictures of you that nobody would wanna see. And I'm like, this is why I'm even here. It's like, yo, bro, like, what type of girl would do that? Like, if me and you locked in and you my, like, I've been giving you mad shit for two years. Why would you ever send a nigga some weird pictures of me or even do anything like that? But then I realized I'm an idiot. I'm a sucker. I hate she had the nerves to send those pictures out to Adam and them. Like, that's like sending it to the internet because these are your colleagues that work in the internet and it's just a bad situation. But, man, let's get back to the madness. So, first and foremost, let me give you the biggest thing. I'm going to start it off first. I'm going to start it off first. Here's what she thinks is the thing. September, October, November of last year, I'm telling you out of facts. Police raided my crib. They kicked my door off. My mama was at my crib. By the time I walk upstairs, the police kicked my door down. By the way, these are expensive doors. I live in a mansion. It's a $2 million house. These doors cost me $25,000. They come in, tell everybody to get down. We all get down. They put us in cuffs. By the way, Cheyenne is there too. Anyway, they asked me if I want to go down to the station. I'm like, I still, I really have no idea what's going on. I do go down to the station. Bro, I go down to the station and I get, I, I get kind of really what they're doing. Okay, so I'm going to make a long story short. One day, yeah, I know I work a lot. One day I'm like, I tell my niggas, I say, yo, I want to get drunk today. And my nigga, Adrian, uh, um, Antonio Brown invited me to a pool party. I'm, I'm already drunk. There's a girl texting me that I haven't seen in a year. She says she want to come through. Cool. I said, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yo, we're going to leave the party around eight, blah, blah, blah. blah. You can come through. I'm going to send you a lift. I swear I got so drunk. By the time I leave the party, I my niggas drove me home. Or I think we went to Wendy's and we went home. I walk upstairs to where my master bedroom's at and I fall out. This is why uh, y'all gonna see what the lesson is in this. Yo, I just pass out. I forgot I Ubered a bitch to my crib. I forgot, nigga, I'm drunk. My nigga, 4 a.m. comes. Remember, I'm, I'm at my crib at nine. 4 a.m. comes, I'm knocked out. 4 a.m. comes, my homie, I never see the girl. I never see her. My homies wake me up. Act. We leaving. I'm like, oh, sh I go and I go lock the door. Then they say to me when I'm locking the door, they say, oh, by the way, that girl you invited, yo, she down there at the other end of your house in the guest bedroom. I look at them and I said, what girl I invited? They said, bro, remember you invited a girl. I'm like, no way I invited one of them girls at the party back to my crib. Them girls was bust. No way. They was like, no, nigga, remember the girl you... I said, what are you talking about? They said, yo, you know so-and-so. And they described myself. Oh! Anyway, they leave. I go, I, I walk down the hallway. So I go down the hallway to my guest bedroom. But I noticed this couple things. First of all, she naked. Second of all, her hair is like, like frizzy. It's in the summertime. Like, almost like she kind of went in the pool type shit. Anyway, I'm like, yo, what's good with you? Like, I'm waking her up type shit. I'm like, yo, you sleeping? Like, what's up? Anyway, I go downstairs. She kind of realized I'm there. She wakes up. She come downstairs. In the morning, I got to let my dog out. So I go let Pluto out. And when I go let Pluto out, I'm now outside stand. I'm like looking around. I'm like, man, this shit don't look right. Here's the thing. I got cameras everywhere in my crib. And this is this is the reason why y'all don't realize the raid. Yeah, this is the raid. The cameras. And this is like, I'm telling y'all now that y'all can hear the whole story. I know my backyard. Something ain't right. I go to my, my, my DVR. I, I'm looking what's going on. She was getting trained by my two mans. Like, on my pool deck the night before when I'm sleeping. I'm dead ass. This is what happened. Nigga, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, what? Nigga, I invited you over here. I paid a lift. The lift was like 200 bucks. Nigga, she lived. I don't even want to say where she lived. I'm like, what? How could you come to my joint and get trained by my mans while I'm sleeping? Men, I want you to learn this lesson from me. You could get penalized for being a good guy. I never knew nothing was ever going on. I was sleeping. So I go down to where I used to play Fortnite and she come down and like, she like, Covered up and she was just like, yo, last night was fun. Like she was kind of like mad jovial about like what happened the night before. But I feel away because I seen it on my camera. I said, yo, you just got trained by my mans. She's still acting like ain't nothing happened. So I'm kind of throwing a little hints to them. I'm like, yo, I'm like, damn, I'm like, y'all can't believe y'all ain't wake me up type of shit last night. Like what, uh, what happened? You know what I mean? She was like, nah, we were just having fun, blah, 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 blah. I, I said, Any, everything you did last night, right? I said, you wanted to do, right? 
Because, you know, j- just off like, because she's acting like nothing happened. And I'm like, everything you wanted to do, right? And she said to me, yeah, I had fun. Yeah, everything was cool. I said, damn. I said, I ain't going to lie to you, man. I'm like, yo, y'all made a motion video last night, man. In reality, I said, y'all got a whole video of, of, of whatever happened. And she was like, what are you talking about? She's, I, I still think she playing dumb. I'm like, I said, bro, you know, it's all good. I ain't even tripping. I'm like, I, I'm just trying to make sure, yo, you good whatever you did last night. And, you know, I ain't think you was that type of girl, but cool. She was like, why are you acting like that? Because now I'm acting distant. She's like, yo, why are you acting like that? I'm like, I'm, I'm getting mad now. Because now I'm thinking like, yo, you're playing with me. You're acting like I don't know. You're acting like, bro, this is my house. I told, I tell everybody when they come to my house. Every video, every audio is recorded. They got, I got more cameras in my house than the Muncino, bro. So I'm like, all right, bet. So I, I tell him like, yo, really? I'm just like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I probably got naked and like twerk for them, but I ain't never fuck. Already I'm thinking like, I know you lying now because you're admitting to get, first of all, why would you even get naked for my niggas? <laughs> if you came for me, you don't know them niggas for can't. Whatever, cool. Like, I even show, I show her on my phone. I said, bruh, look, right there. She got another excuse. She said, oh, nah. So it was a video of her naked in my pool, bent over by the, the, the deck. And then one of my niggas got his dick out. Like, pause. I'm sorry. I've got to give you all the details, but I keep telling you that somebody can't ever put dirt on my name without me telling the truth. So I said, bro, like, look at this right here. She was like, uh, uh, like, at first, she was like, uh, uh, yeah, he might have took his dick out. Like, I think he rubbed his dick on my pussy, but I never, I'm like, yo, bro, you really lying to me right now. So I ain't even gonna hold you. Nigga, I scrolled in the video. Nigga, I got the video in my shit. I scrolled in. I said, bro, here's a video of him for you. Then I scrolled again. I said, here's a video of him for you and you sucking off my other man's. Oh, what? What? Now, now the, now the story's changed. The story now becomes, uh, oh, oh, what? Oh, I didn't know that. When she apologetic, she's like, yo, you got to believe me. Like, yo, I, like, I would have never did that. Like, yo, shit, I'm so sorry. I would have never disrespected you like that. Like, yo, I came here for you, this and third. That's the type of woman that will have a man underneath the jail cell. Carry on. Anyway, my mama had to come that day. Like, my mama was coming to my crib. So I told her, I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. You got to go, yo. So she's looking at me like, damn. And she said it. She said, damn, yo, you mad cold with me right now. She's like, usually you get me breakfast and she's like, why are you so cold? And I'm like, nah, my mama got come in here like, yo, you got to go. Breakfast? You got to be kidding me. Bro, she's automatically like looking at me like, oh, shit. Oh, you really think it? So she's apologizing like, yo, I t- t- believe me, I'm not that type of girl, blah, blah, blah. I call her car. She leaves. She calls me in the car. She says, yo, I'm sorry. I don't want you to ever think I'm that type of girl. I came there to hang out with you. Like, and she even said this verbatim. Why would I come there and f- your friends and not you. Now, this is her apologizing. Cool. I said to her, I said, yo, I'm gonna keep it a being with you, bro. You came to my house and had two niggas just raw. I ain't seen no condom, no none. I told her, I said, yo, you should go get tested, man. Like you done. I said, that's why, yo, you should go get tested, bro. And from that moment, she started like, because she the denial shifted and she kept like trying to like pivot on the denial to, yo, nah, send me the video. Yo, I'm pretty sure I didn't fuck. I'm like, bro, you fuck. And she's like, no, 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 look again. And I, now I'm getting super tight because I'm like, bro, I'm not about to watch this video if you getting fucked. My surveillance, like, bro, like, I was fucking with you. Like, what? you want me to watch the video if you getting fucked? Cool. She keeps saying that, whatever, whatever. She then tells me, by the way, I, I ain't gonna lie, and I'm gonna keep it being with, about everything. My homies did not tell me they fucked her. She said, yeah, I'm gonna get tested, and yo, you know, I'm gonna get a rape kit. Wow, she is cold blood. She dangerous. I tell her, I'm like. Nigga, I'm like, yo, yo, get a rape kit. Like, so good. Like, yo, whatever. I said, whatever you got going. But she keep asking me, like, yo, could, like, are you sure what happened after this? How did both of the guys get there instead of one? Because I remember talking to him, but I remember the other guy. And I'm like, bro, I'm not watching this. So now I'm getting, I'm getting defense. I ain't watching that shit no more, gang. I'm not watching this shit. Okay. That's the last time I talked to her. The next time I talked to her, she asked me one random day, like three days later, yo, could I get your friend's names and numbers? Bro, you still trying to, like, I say, yo, you fucked them. You can't get their name and number? Why the fuck you need me to get their name and number? I don't know. Like, come on, bro. Why you keep asking my niggas you don't fuck? Yo, could I get their names and numbers? Bro, I say, you know, because she keep wanting to say, I want to know what exactly what happened. Do you sure nobody used the condom? I said, bro, from the video I seen, I ain't seen them niggas use a condom type shit. Sorry, y'all, I'm back. Her doing this is her way of trying to get back in his good graces. Trying to find a way to hold on to that bag no matter what, because she knows she done fumbled it.
So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a rape kit and I'm going to press charges and then you will want me back. That's what she's thinking. Yo, I've thought about this a million times. I really think that me making her feel some shame made all this happen. She asked me for my, my friend's names or whatever. I said, yo, you know, I'm going to give you my man's number. I said, whatever you want to know about that night, go talk to him. Y'all go talk. Okay. All right. When I get home, I was coming from my studio. And when I get home, 20 minutes after I get home, that's when the raid happens. They bring me down to the station. I don't know. At this point, I don't know what it's about. They're asking me about the situation. Yo, what's blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you why they did the raid and why they did the search warrant on my crib. Even to this day, right now, I, I pay $4,000 for an apartment I don't go to. I got an apartment right now I do not go to because I refuse to bring people back to my crib. I'm going to tell you why. The reason why they did that search warrant is because Shorty went to the cops and the cops reading and listening to her side of the story, they're saying, oh yeah, Shorty got R-worded, academics got the tape, it's at his house, but he don't want to give up the tape. 